don't twist scripture to fit your little, you know what? Just, just go seriously, go. You're the reason why Christians are getting their, their butts handed to them. You want to be going to love the world so much, then go love them again. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other because that's all you are good for. You scripture twisting Jezebel. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other because that's all you are good for. All right, just a quick video. Uh, showing Rich Pankowski's Jesuit-type behavior and Jesuit-type bitterness described in six different Proverbs. Okay, and I chose number six because six is the number of man, the number of sin, the number of the Antichrist. You can read about that in Revelation 13. And Pankowski is a warrior for Antichrist. You know, his, he's called Warriors for Christ, but you see his Christ is not the Christ of the Word of God. His Christ is the, uh, a false Christ warned about in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Okay. And there's six different proverbs that perfectly describe the sort of wicked behavior that uh, Pankowski displays, which you know myself and a sister in Christ and others have kept screenshots of uh, throughout uh, documenting his absolutely completely disgusting behavior, which is that of a Jesuit Kovajud with the kind of bitterness he has. But here are six, the six proverbs that perfectly describe him. Okay, first, Proverbs chapter two, verse 11 to 15. Proverbs two, verse 11 to 15. All right, little uh, interruption there. That was a bit weird. But uh, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 11, down to verse uh, 15. It says, Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh froward things, who leave the paths of uprighteousness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the frowardness of the wicked, uh, whose ways are crooked and they forward and, and they forward in their paths. Yeah, that's pretty much Pankowski. He has a very forward mouth. Just, just, root, just go ahead and, and give him a scriptural reproof and just watch the, just the devils come out of him. Pretty much. I mean, anyway, just go reprove him and just watch how, just watch the bitterness that come out, comes out of him when he responds. Uh, Proverbs chapter four, verse fourteen, down to verse nineteen. Proverbs 4, verse 14, down to verse 19. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of, the, of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness, and drink the wine of violence. Yeah, no kidding with Pankowski. Uh, but the path of the just is, as, is a, as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. Again, you know, uh, violence, you know, it talks about the wine of violence. Yeah, Pankowski, uh, he is, you know, again, there's multiple videos of him uh, praying for the death of his followers. There's a screenshot I, I showed in my other videos where he's like wishing, he's like, I can't, I, I wish God will, you know, it'd be nice if God would let me see me, see him burn my enemies in hell and whatever else. Yeah violence plain and simple you know the ways of wick the wicked are as darkness which is also that of a jesuit code judah they're told to the wage relentless war against their enemies uh, proverbs 6 verse 11 down to verse 14 proverbs 6 11 down to verse 14 so shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth and thy uh, want as an armed man a naughty person a wicked man walketh with a froward mouth he winketh his eyes and speaketh with his feet. He uh, teaches with his fingers, kind of like typing on a keyboard, maybe like you know on a live stream, like Minkowski does. Frowardness is in his heart. He deviseth uh, mischief continually. He soweth discord. Yeah, that's exactly what Minkowski does. You know, he soweth discord. I mean, all he does is just go out and cause strife and contention, kind of like a Jesuit co-juder would do to, to stir up you know enmity between different peoples and whatever else. Talks about in the oath of unction. Yeah. That's what he is. He, he just loves strife and contention. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 6, down to verse 14. Proverbs 10, verse 6, down to verse 14. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Perfectly describes Mikoski. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart shall re well, will receive commandments, but a prating fool shall fall. Sorry, just checking something real quick. Yeah, prating fool will fall. 
Uh, he that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that per perverteth his ways shall be known. He that winketh with an eye uh, causeth sorrow, but a, prating uh, but a prating fool shall fall. The mouth of the righteous is a well is sorry the, the mouth of a righteous man sorry is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. You see that as a consistent theme with Pankowski. Hatred stirreth up strife, but love covereth all sins. Again, that's Pankowski. Uh, in the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. No kidding, yeah, just Pinkowski's mouth, all this is spew out wickedness, heresy, false doctrine, you know? He, he loves strife and contention, again, that of a Jesuit coadjutor. You'll see that consistent theme in his verses, violence coming out of their mouth. That definitely is true of Pinkowski, the, way, the, the wicked stuff like the clip I showed at the beginning of the video, pretty much sums up everything you need to know about the kind of devil he is. Praying for a woman, to say, hoping a woman gets, you know, uh, assaulted by sodomites. I'm not even going to repeat the filthy thing he said. Uh, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 5 to 6. Proverbs 12, verse 5 to 6. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. The words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. Yeah. No kidding. Again, that perfectly describes Pankowski. That clip, again, that clip I showed at the beginning pretty much sums up all you need to know about the, the violence that comes out of his mouth. Proverbs 12, verse 13, down to verse 23. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips, but they, but the just shall come out of trouble. A man shall be satisfied with the good, with good by the fruit of his mouth, and recompense of a man's hand shall be rendered to uh, unto him. The way of the fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. A fool's wrath is presently known. Yeah, no kidding with Minkowski. And a prudent man, that's right, but a prudent man covereth shame. Uh, he that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. Uh, there is that that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. The lip of the truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. Uh, there shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Lying lips are an abomination, un uh, sorry, an abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaimeth Sorry, proclaimeth foolishness. Yeah, Pinkowski in a nutshell. You know, he, his heart is full of deceit and wickedness. His, uh, you know, he speaks like the piercings of a sword. Again, just watch any of his live streams, and you'll see that just, just the violent, you know, anger coming out of his mouth. It's not righteous indignation. It's, it's satanic frenzy. It's, he's going into it's basically a satanic rage. I'll put it like that. You know, there is righteous indignation towards wickedness, and then there is Jesuit-style satanic rage like Pinkowski displays. Big difference between the two. But well, these six uh, proverbs perfectly describe the, the wickedness of, of the Jesuit style wickedness of Pankowski over at Warriors for Antichrist ministry. So I want to show you guys that. There are plenty of other verses like Psalms 10, verse 3 to 8. Three, Psalms 10, verse 3 down to verse 8 gives a good description of Pankowski. You know, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 down to verse 19 describes why God hates uh, Pankowski and his, and his, his uh, cult that he runs. Meant numerous other scriptures too. Warn about the, the Jesuit wickedness displayed by rich Pankowski. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.